Hey, what up legends, how's it going? Kirin Bacon here. Now, today I decided to play a deck of a class that was not played much this expansion, was revisited by pro player Stan Sifka. Um, very happy he did so. He created the Blood... Uh, I'm sorry, the Bloom Doom uh, Warlock, uh, as you can see here. Um, very, very strong deck with extremely, extremely uh, slow... Uh, you know, game plan, um, you're there for, for the long game with this guy. Um, you've got so many board clears, you have so many, uh, you know, like larger cards, and so you're going to want to stay on the board for a while, eventually play Lord Jaraxxus, and overrun your opponent with, uh, with demons, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to give this deck a shot, if you want to take a look at the deck list, it is going to be in the description. If you're watching, Stan, thank you very much for posting this deck on Heartbond. I am very happy you did so. It is pretty damn fun to play with. Alright. A priest. Alright. I know it's stupid, but I will keep Medivh in my opening hand just because it's such an important card in the deck. Um, at least to me. It's, it's the best win condition that you could ever want in this deck. There are so many big spells. Um, that's the best that you can get. So you'll need, you'll need him on the board. Working for you. Um. Alright. Let me draw a card. Mistress. Alright. So he's going to heal. Of course, he's going to draw a bunch of cards. Okay, Tark Reaper is pretty good here. It's on curve. I don't really want to heal my <laughs> my Voidwalker because I'd just be, I'd just be uh, buffing, well, drawing him cards technically. So that's not something I want to do. However, a thing I could do here is Tark Reaper attacks into Curious Glimmer Root, and then Voidwalker attacks into Curious Glimmer Root, and then I can Earthen Ring Farseer, my Tark Reaper, and then Mortar Coil, uh, the Glimmer Root as well. I can do that. I can very well do that. Draw a card first. All right. And then Earthring Farseer heal. I've got a lot of heal in my hand, which is really good because um, you're playing Warlock. Warlock needs heals. And so we've got, what, 11, 11 worth of heal. We drew him a card, uh, yes, but it was tempo, uh, and I like that. And I'm going to kill Nordshire Cleric here. Um, Yeah, gonna draw a card. I think I'll play Crawler and Mistress of Mixtures. Now, um, not that many people run MC Tech in in uh, their decks currently, so I think this is all right. I also think that Siphon Soul might be a decent option here. However, I will not do it quite yet. Yes, I will. I will trade everything first. And I've got a cat, actually. Hi, cat. Hello, cat. You know, I think this is probably the best. Uh, I, I just deny him of board presence for a bit. Hmm. As long as possible. Card, Mistress. Okay. Now I'm not 
too sure of how Mediv and Bloodbloom Blood work together. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit worried. You can go face. Don't have that many spells in hand right now. But this says, after you cast a spell, minion of that cost. So it still costs that much, just in health. So in my opinion... Oh, okay. Well, we've been denied of our best card. <laughs> okay then. We still have Jiraxis, so um, I'm gonna have to develop Jiraxis like immediately. Um, it's a good thing that he played that before I played Jiraxis. I would have been in big trouble if he did. Um, all right, let's go, Violet Illusionist. This only works on the simple-minded. Hero power. Blood Bloom. We're gonna draw six cards. I'm gonna I'm gonna overdraw a card. So in this case, I want to do this instead. Draw five cards. So don't overdraw a card. Alright. Okay, play small stuff. Um, I think that's fine. I should have played Golaka Crawler in this with Jirexis next turn. Eh. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna play Jirexis next turn. We also have an Elise somewhere in here. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think that playing Twisting Better here... Killing two of his big creatures and 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 taking over the board is a little bit better. I can kill that with Jiraxis. That's fine. Fair enough. He heals himself. Alright, I'm okay with that. Now, yes, I'm cut cutting my health in half. But he has to face Jaraxxus, so... Blood Manos. Blood Manos. All minions. Okay. I'm just gonna kill it with Siphon Soul, so doesn't matter much to me. Okay, the Smite, Smite Face, that's kind of scary. Shadow Visions, and that's actually scary. I don't like the fact that he's drawing so many cards, but uh... all right, that's fine with me. Let's go, Violet Illusionist into Blood Bloom, Siphon Soul. Kill myself, of course. Trade? Hero power. Heal my face. I've got a decent board here. I like this. Alright. I have a few turns to win, but I'll be able to... I'll be able to win. I'm sure of it. I've got single target spells. I've got a board clear if required. I've got a hellfire, which also count kind of counts as a board clear. Once upon a time. Okay. Your magic shall not save us. Okay. Um, that's fine with me. I'm going to shadow bolt it. I'm going to hear power. Smack him in the face for 11. And I I should win next turn. If he doesn't have something super crazy. Um, 
So that's good. That's good. So you see, the the deck has a lot of potential. Yes, it's very hard to win without your <laughs> your your uh, Mediv, because um, it's probably your best card in the deck. But uh, oh, Dragon Fire! All right, I forgot about Dragon Fire. <laughs> All right, he's gonna heal himself, of course. Got Doom Sarah's here. I think I'll play Spellbreaker. Just because. But it's so bad. No, I can't play it. I actually can't play it. I can't play I can't play Spellbreaker. Okay, heals him okay. That's fine. It's a big card. He has to kill the Infernal. I was I, I was gonna say like I sp I play Spellbreaker, but what if he plays a Taunt? I'm so screwed. Um, so if I don't play that, I can play it on a Taunt. He'd play this turn, and then smack him in the face and everything. So He's very annoying. Um, okay. So, I am going to here. Play Twisting Nether. Attack his face. Again. Very, very annoying. <laughs> and I still have Elise as one of my two last cards. This is pretty ridiculous. He's gonna still be able to kill that infernal. Oh my god. Alright. We've got him, guys. With Elise as the last card of the deck. <laughs> okay. We got him. Alright, pretty happy about that. Alright, well, um, we won a game. I'm happy about the results. Um, the deck is really fun. Uh, there's a lot to be explored with it. Bloom slash Doom or Bloom slash Twisting Nether is always a fun play. And uh, Bloom Doom draws you so many cards. It's always a lot of fun to, to perform. So that's pretty much it for me playing today. Thank you very much for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.